Welcome back everyone. So uh, another video for today. Uh, it looks like they're gonna go ahead and do the 4.0 wipe, which is more or less confirmed anyways from previous discussions with the 4.0 watch discussion that was in Spectrum. But I'll go ahead and put this link in the description, but um, it's gonna go ahead and remove all three major pillars of LTP, which is long-term persistence. Anytime you're looking at patch notes, it'll say LTP is intact. Well, that won't be the case for 4.0, which is what most people have expected. So no reputation will be kept, your money will be gone, and all items that are purchased in game. So uh, obviously the first question that people have, well, does that include ships? Um, it does in fact include ships. Does this fall under, does ships, um, you know, ships included in the wipe? Yes, you know, they are included as items. Correct, ships bought <clears throat> with uh, in-game currency will be wiped as well. So everything as far as all that stuff will be um, gone. So. What this means to you is any ship that you've pledged for will be available to you. Um, anything that you've pledged for, like in the like items and whatnot, those will all remain. It's just in-game purchase items and in-game purchased um, assets and stuff like that. They're all gone. So if you've actually purchased a UEC out of the game, um, I guess that would be there as well. Most people will start somewhere around twenty-five thousand. Um, most people have picked the reputation. Piece. So I think everybody starts more or less with 20,000. Um, I get some people start with more UEC based off game packages, but AUEC is different. And so um, it seems like everyone's getting AUEC. They're getting 20,000 to begin with. Um, I don't know if you buy other starter packages, if that increases that. I don't think so. I don't think that's how that works at all. I think everybody starts at 20,000 and then you get 25,000. The extra 5,000 comes from using a referral code. So I always put my referral code just in the description if people want to use it, but um, it's there. Everyone seems to generally use it either way. Uh, yeah, so uh, feel free to use mine or another con or whoever you want to use it. I mean, you maybe you got a friend, maybe you got yourself. Like if you want to, you could use your own referral link on a separate account. So um, reputations will be gone. So missions and guilds. Um, guilds are not necessarily like, you know, guild and games, but guilds are those reputation type um, folks you'll be working with. So you'll be working with the built, the guilds to increase reputation with them. So stuff like the, um, bounty hunting missions will all start fresh as well. Um, so it's just going to be a grind to get all that going again. Economy is going to be revamped. Um, this is where I'm a little on, this is unfortunate because I don't think the mission income will catch up or keep up with the current cost inflations. So they've already announced, uh, with another posting that the cost of things are going to go up. So when it comes to in and uh, all that stuff, not just um, also maintenance stuff. So like with uh, restocking your your weapons, all that kinds of stuff is going to be an increase in costs. So everything's going to be a hit to your AUC wallet, and um, it's going to be harder and harder, I think, for newer players. So I hope they can get the missions balanced correctly to really give them a chance. But I feel like uh, that's going to go. I feel like they're increasing the price of things so much that's going to just be a more of a burden on the new player. So. That's my opinion. I, I feel like you're going to have to have a more expensive ship to get up and running. Um, I already have that feeling, and I feel like I should do another video on that. Um, I personally have the feeling you need to spend about $100 um, USD, of course, up to about $200 to really have a good start and a good time in this game. I get you can have a basic package to get started, but I feel like you're really behind the curve with that. And most people, I think, are better served to spend $100 to $200 in the game. And if they don't want to spend that, I think they shouldn't play the game. That sounds really bad, but it's just, I think it's its a real expectation. You're going to be really grinding, and you probably get tired of grinding if you just get the basic package. I feel like you have to probably have a better ship like the Cuddy Black that opens up more capability to yourself in order to actually have fun. Um, Pyro will be coming out, obviously, as well, so there's also a chance that there's some unforeseen money-making capabilities that I'm not, I'm not thinking of or not aware of that could help with my previous issue with the economy potentially being a big problem for new players as well, but the, uh, at either rate, it would come, risk would come with reward. So if there is a higher reward, it would probably come with risk as well. Uh, as it shows here, you get to keep your ships, your your pledge, you know, any kind of reward. So if you're currently doing the Save Stanton event, um, it looks like you have until 4.0 release to do that event. Um, I, it's gonna be interesting stress on the servers to keep that up and running. I guess it also means they're probably planning on getting 4.0 out sooner than most people think. Um, but along with all that, essentially, Anything you purchased in the pledge store, you will get to retain. Uh, excuse me. Of course, that that means if you lose it in game, though, unfortunately, you kind of lose it. Like subscriber flare, um, it's hard to put too much weight on that because if you have armor set that you purchased in the store or something like that, if you do die, it's essentially gone unless you go get it yourself. 
Um, and then, of course, there is a commitment here to try to keep these infrequent um, going forward. We only wipe I've experienced is the money wipe that cap uh, occurred in three, was it 322? 3.23 maybe? Um, not too long ago, a few months back. So that was uh, pretty unfun, but it kind of is what it is. I've gotten used to it with the ship price increases as well. I think it was 323 with the ship price increases as well. It's just something a lot of people have gotten used to. Um, yeah, so torn on this. I mean, I don't necessarily mind. I, I like having the ships for being able to review them and stuff, but nobody watches my ship reviews, so it's kind of a moot point at this point. So getting those all wiped up and getting uh, my Aesop tournament cleaned up, I guess I'm more for that than actually having the ships. Um, I guess if I want to do ship reviews, um, I'll start doing that during IAE when I can rent them or something. Uh, in the meantime, um, this is just to kind of to let you all know, be mindful of this going through IAE. Does that mean you should spend more money on a ship? No, but if you like a ship and you're wanting to pledge to the game, keep that in mind that 4.0 will come the deletion of a bunch of, of ship, a big cleanup, right? That's probably why they have the Raptor here. Um, there's gonna be a big cleanup going on for 4.0. So if you have a ship, like you have a, you don't have a vulture, but you kind of like use, you end up using the vulture a lot. Maybe if you have a prospector, maybe consider doing a CCU up to the vulture. Um, or maybe you don't want to spend any more money on the game and you're done with the game because of this too. That's fine as well. So uh, it's your money. It's your decision making. Uh, feel free to do with it as you please. Anyways, I just wanted to share the wipe is uh, forthcoming and to be mindful of that, especially as IAE comes up because it will at least have the option to, um, get in your pledge store and in your hangar ships that you may not have had before. Um, maybe you'll be looking at them a little bit more this go around. Anyways, uh, thank you all for checking the video and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Oh,